Hey guys, welcome back to channel and to a new video. So turns out there is a part two to the Fright Nights construction updates because I'm back with... Fright Nights Queen. Keris. I feel like that's just my way of introducing Yeah, just myself. coming in. Just coming. Still? So, um, basically today we're back at Thought Park to check out the Fright Nights construction. It is... What's the date today? It's the 29th of August. It's just about to go 11 o'clock and apparently they've got stitches up and they've had some goings on for fright nights so um you're gonna check this out today and i had to come with keris because she knows everything and keris is doing a video too so make sure you go and check it out for whenever that could be up lord knows that could be in a month's year's time, time. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah let's go to the park and check out some fright nights construction updates for 2024 that is construction for a maze let's go have a look down by survival games at all at the moment. I don't know what that is. It's like a road sign actually. So yeah, we can't see anything going on right now. Down by survival games. So yeah, down by survival games, we can't see anything. Oh, there is a hand. Someone's going in a bit, but um, yeah, so we can't see anything going on down by Survivor Games at the moment. Obviously, this is returning this year. We should get split up. It'd be good fun. Returning to the park. I can't wait. But yeah, nothing we can see down here. Okay, we are now down at Stitches, Howell's Toy Emporium. So we're, uh, we're going to have a little look at this now. Returning for its second year. Let's have a little look. So yeah, here's a little look at what we've got so far. Put the front up, a couple of bits of theming in, it's all kind of down here. There's also some bits over here that's ready to go in. Spoke to some really nice people doing some, obviously, the construction for this, and he was like, Good luck, we're keeping them all locked away. Good luck for Friday night. So, we're a bit scared. Has this had some changes? Well, I'm thinking it might have. Yes, why? Just because there's like the panels out here, which obviously are walls, but I don't know. I feel like because they put it up so early. Yeah, maybe I have a feeling changes. something's going to change in there. Scary. Who knows? So looking in, the pre-show does kind of look the same. We've seen nothing on the walls yet, but it does look like the same layout. So I've just spotted these blocks over here, the TNT. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but those TNT boxes, boxes used to be um, an Angry Birds. So have they reused them? They recycled them to make some little pieces? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. That's what I'm thinking's happened here. I think that's a bag for the teddies. I'm not 100% sure. There's bags for the teddy bear, and you can see the the maze walls just up the wood in there. You can actually see it all the way to the other side as well. Returning. I'm very excited to experience it again this year. Karis, are you? I'm so excited. I had amazing run-throughs with Stitches. Um, I had good run-throughs. I wouldn't say they're phenomenal. I was blown away. So I hope this year to have some better run-throughs. I'm very excited that it's returning. But there is your Stitches Fright Nights construction update. On to the next thing. This is where Morkin Meadow would be. This is where obviously recent, most recently the Hyperia Extended Q line was. Now it's just a chill area. Basically, will it be returning? It hasn't been announced yet, it hasn't been said. I really do hope it does, because I personally think like this is phenomenal. This is a phenomenal area. It's a perfect thing to have over here on this side of the park. Um, so I do hope to see it return. There's nothing here at the moment. Obviously there probably won't be for a while, probably till about mid-September, I think, if it does return. 
but I do hope Morkin Meadow returns. But as you can see, there's nothing here for us to have a look at. So I'm assuming this is for late night riding, but it could potentially stay for Halloween because it will close at the same time. They've got the big lights up, the big bud lights. So these I imagine will stay or they'll return back to the park. We're now heading around to look at what me and Karis predict will be the new Fright Nights maze area, the old Black Mirror Labyrinth area. Let's go have a look. Do you know what? I have never seen the slammer like that before there. Have they cut it all back? They have. They've cut it all back. So here's a little look at the slammer just here. My prediction is if they've cut all this back, this could potentially be the queue line for the new maze. That's my prediction. This is so interesting to me as well because I've never seen the slammer like this since it closed. Like this is kind of insane to me, you know. Obviously, will we ever see this get ripped out? Maybe soon. Could put a new flat in the area, you never know. But this is a Fright Nights video. But yes, they've cut all the bushes down, which makes me think this could potentially be the queue line for it. But I don't know. They've cut literally all of it back here, apart from this here. Karis said it might be because they're keeping it all a secret, which is fair dues, fair play. They have cut all the queue line, the tall bits there down. Like I said, we're, we're grasping it. Sorry, I was taken away by that bird running across the, the floor, but yeah. Oh, Colossus, for goodness sake. You can't really see much going on here. You, there's nothing to see. Like I said, we are guessing this is where the new maze is going to be, uh, purely because there's a skip. Unless it's the slammer being taken out. I don't know, but that's where our predictions is for the new maze, right here. Um, obviously, it had the Walking Dead here at one point, so that is why we're potentially thinking that. Um, but yeah, everything's been cut back. You can't see much. But potentially, could this be the new maze location of 2024? After taking our look at where we think the new maze is going to be for 2024, we're heading down to trailers now to have a little peek of that. There's a blue box. So there's a little Mac box over there. I doubt it's much, but there's a little Mac box in Iberia. Now, they have got a skip, which has a wire leading over there, which could mean trailers, what's happening here. The, the stuff that was there last time has been moved. But there's nothing here that's happening. Down where Lucifer's was last year, I'm assuming Oktoberfest is probably going to be here this year. However, the only thing I've noticed is this little barrier here. But yeah, there's nothing here at the moment. And I doubt there will be until Oktoberfest is over. Unless they're putting Oktoberfest in Big Easy Boulevard. Which, that could be potentially what where they're putting it this year. Maybe, actually, I do have a feeling that might be it, to be fair. Yeah, the only thing I've really noticed in this area is that new cattle penning just blocking off that area. But I highly doubt it's got anything to do with Fright Lights. So, Keris just made a really good point that I agree with. Down in Big Easy, how awesome would it be if you had like roamers or kind of like a scare zone here? I think this would be awesome. I think the final pit stop now is over down in Amity, where obviously Amity and Lycanthorpe was, and obviously the new attraction last year. Um, so we're heading up here now. Again, I assume nothing is going to be here, purely for the facts that, um, well, it's quite a used area, isn't it? We're still being here. I think the whole thing here is that there will be markings on the floor if there's anything, but... Oh, okay. has she spotted one? Oh my god. Oh my god, she spotted one. Oh my god, she actually has. Floor marking. Is this stage? Is this... What is this? This is the tiny little stage and there's going to be one person dancing around. So there's two floor markings. There's one there and there's one over there. Pretty decent size. Is this a stage? What is this? So the only thing in this area is the two little yellow floor markings. So I was wrong, there is actually something in this area for the preparation of Fright Nights. We were looking and these pieces are completely centerpiece kind of way. So it'll be interesting to see what they're gonna put wham bam in the middle. So we were chatting and these two floor markings are awfully close together. So maybe we're not having a stage this year. Maybe it's gonna be, I don't know, something else or a smaller stage. I do hope they don't rope off the area though this year. But is the bus coming back? That's a good question because there's nothing, you know, markings or anything yet for it. So that'll be interesting to see if it returns. I hope it does because I think it's a great kind of addition and kind of not centerpiece, but piece of theming. So I guess we'll have to see, but there's your update on Creature Campus. 
Our final destination of the day to check out is Death Stores. Now there is actually nothing here. Looks like no floor markings, no nothing. Take a little walk through, but it looks like there is absolutely nothing here. I did like Death Stores, but I wouldn't be disappointed if it didn't return. Um, it'll be interesting to see if it does or not, but yeah, nothing on the floor here. No floor markings. Nothing for Death Stores. Uh, the Fright Nights tickets have now also gone up on the website that you can actually like buy the tickets for the mazes one shot and bundles and the Merlin annual pass exclusive um, to use them all the time and also Aroma Prime were here yesterday at the Sense so it'll be interesting to see if the Sense are going in the mazes so that's my second Fright Nights update I hope you enjoyed um, obviously some of the mazes are now getting constructed and all that jazz it's all kind of going up but it'll be exciting to see what's going to happen next so I hope you enjoyed comment like and subscribe and I'll see you very very soon guys bye bye